Hey folks, it's Patriot Nurse. Join me today. We're going to discuss the three things that you must add to your rifle to make it worthy of what's coming. So let's get started. So this is just my standard AR-15 here. And there are actually, there are four things on this rifle that we're going to talk about, but three of them you absolutely have to have. The first of them is actually iron sights. We like iron sights. Iron sights ensure that if this guy right here, for whatever reason, decides it doesn't want to work because it has electrical circuits, which could decide they don't want to work. The iron sights on your rifle are going to ensure that you have the ability to make your hits count. The next thing that you need on your rifle is a white light. This is just a standard Surefire and I used a Viking Tactics light mount here just to put it on. Pretty easy, you just wanna make sure that you're using blue Loctite for anything that you put on the rifle. The screws to uh, keep it from rattling loose, we would not want that. And then the third thing that you need is a sling. And this sling is a blue force sling, but really you can just do whatever you want. You know, whichever sling you want. I just use the quick detach swivel here when I added them. But these are the three things that you absolutely have to have with your rifles. Um, with recent events, with what we've seen, definitely with Kenosha, but in other places, obviously around the country, it, the, the sling, for instance, I mean, think of it like a holster for a rifle, but expressly, it assists with your retention of the rifle. And unfortunately, one of the favorite tactics of a lot of uh, criminal elements, dastardly types and domestic terrorists, is they like to try and hit people over the head and you know, knock them out, do whatever to them. So you have to assume that if you get knocked out and this rifle goes flying from you, I mean, you're dead. So we would, we would not want that. We would not want that. The, the point, moreover, with the white light here, the light on your rifle assists you in target discrimination. The white light on that rifle allows you to check a person's whole body, hand, hand, and then their waistline. And it basically, it lets you clarify before you have to take action to defend yourself that this person in front of you who is committing violent acts towards you, who is imminently threatening you, that they are still imminently threatening you and that you have the ability to articulate what it is that they have in their hands because hands are what kill people. It's really hard to... To, I mean, words suck when they're mean, obviously. Uh, and it's one thing for someone to say that they intend you great bodily harm, but when their hands are full of implements of, of death and destruction, we can articulate that they are indeed a credible threat. And the white light assists us in doing that. And then obviously, of course, the sights, you need sights. Even if you have an optic, okay, or um, an aim point, for instance, a red dot, you still need to have iron sights on your rifle because things go down. So I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick, just a quick video. I hope it was helpful for y'all today. If you did enjoy the video, I hope you'll subscribe to me here on YouTube. You can also support me on Patreon, subscribe to our cryptocurrency and PayPal. I got links down below. Also, I have the class up for you guys, the medical prep class. It is four hours and it's $129 and you can check that out in the description box below. That covers the medical side of the house, uh, but definitely with the rifle. Ladies, for my ladies out there, the American Rifleman and God bought our freedom. And we have the ability now to defend ourselves and to defend our family. And the rifle is the choice defense weapon, uh, definitely for women, for sure. But uh, it's important in safeguarding our liberty. So I just wanted to give us some practical tips today. I hope it was helpful for y'all. Have a wonderful weekend. For now, it's Patriot Nurse signing off. I'll see y'all later. Bye.